you want the very best for your family. So don't miss out on being the proud owner of the revolutionary multifunctional cleaning system with Quick Start Control. But wait, be one of the first 37 to call and we'll double the offer. That's right, two of the revolutionary multifunctional cleaning systems for the price of one. Call the number on your screen now. Tonight on A Current Affair, Disinfectants, the hidden household poison. How you can keep your family safe. 6.30 tonight on 9. Don't always believe what you see on A Current Affair. They claim to be experts with their exposés, but I've got living proof. It isn't necessarily so. Years ago, when I was expecting Kerry, and kids were really little, I was doing the shopping and they'd mark down packets of donuts for a dollar. I always did my shopping really late at night to take advantage of the markdowns. It made a big difference. We only gave me $100 a week housekeeping and that had to cover all of our shopping and my petrol and stuff the kids needed, for kinder and whatnot. And with three of them and one on the way, well, People used to say, oh, isn't he amazing? Doesn't he run a tight ship? Like he should get an award for it. Like it was some sort of accolade. Anyway, the kids hardly ever had treats. So when I saw these donuts, I thought, oh, surely it'll be all right. It's only a dollar. So we're all sitting around watching telly after tea that night. It was a Monday night because that's his steak night while the kids and I have fish fingers. And a current affair had started. Oh, God, it was his favourite show. He loved it, especially when, the, when they got stuck into dodgy bosses that had, you know, done a, done a swifty by underpaying their staff and stuff. Anyhow, he seemed to be in an okay sort of mood, tummy full of steak and chugging away on his beard, so... So I went and got the donuts and started handing them round. Him first, of course, keep him happy. He took three and that meant that there was one each for the kids. He woofed those donuts down in no time flat. Licked his fingers clean, took a swig of beer and said, So how much did they cost then? Only a dollar. They were on special. Well, I'm clearly giving you too much housekeeping if you can throw my hard-earned money away on bloody donuts. So from now on, I'll give you $99 a month. And as that look set across his face, I knew I'd pay for that dollar later on. And all I could do was sit there stare, stare at the TV and yarn event going on about how the next story was a, a com community service announcement, really important for everyone to sit up and take notice of. She said that chicken was the most dangerous food in our households if it wasn't cooked properly. Yana then went on to list all the different ways that chicken could kill you. Not defrosting it properly. Not cooking it through. Not microwaving it for long enough and at a high enough heat to kill the bacteria. Not refrigerating it quickly enough once you'd cooked it if you had leftovers. And not reheating those leftovers at a high enough temperature or for long enough. So the next day, I went and bought a frozen chicken, brought it home, left it on the kitchen bench until it had just defrosted a little bit, then popped it in the oven on low, just for 10 minutes, then left it on the kitchen bench for the rest of the day. Just before he got home, I put it in a freezer bag and popped it in the freezer. Next day, put it back later on the kitchen bench and when enough of it had thawed off, I hacked off chunks and put it in his stir fry for his tea. As the kids and I had tomato soup and toast, 
I watched him like a hawk as he ate mouthful after mouthful after mouthful of my delicious chicken stir fry. He ate the lot and he was fine. So next day I took the rest of the chicken out and put it on the kitchen bench in the sun and kept on moving it around as, to catch the sun as it was streaming in. It was a pretty hot day and it was getting a bit woofy. But this time I put it in the microwave, just on low for a couple of minutes. Then I cut the drumsticks off, coated them in egg and bread crumbs and served him crumbed chicken drumsticks with veggies and gravy for his tea. I couldn't take my eyes off him as he chomped and chomped and chomped into those drumsticks sucking every last bit of meat and juice off those bones. He ate the lot. And he was fine. Not even a hint of indigestion, not even a burp. So there was just enough chicken left for a, like a single serve chicken pie. No food could ever go to waste in our house. He checked the bins. Once I threw out a piece of mouldy cheese and he made me sit up at the dinner table and eat it all up. He made the kids watch. So this had to be, this had to be the pièce de résistance of chicken pies. As I carefully rolled out the pastry and, and lined the little ceramic dish, the veggies were, were simmering in a really lovely, thick and tasty gravy. And the chicken, what was left of it, was sunning itself out on the back table, turning a, an interesting tinge of brownie grey. And then I noticed that the cat had started gnawing on it. So I dashed out and rescued it wiped off the slobber and cleaned it up a bit and then put this sad excuse for a piece of chicken in the microwave just on low for about a minute jesus the sm you've never smelled anything like it to go crazy with the air freshener and open up all the doors and windows and i chopped up the chicken put it in the pie and popped it in the oven just long enough for the pastry to turn a golden brown and then I let that chicken pie rest on top of the stove with the exhaust fan on full ball for the rest of the day. Give it a chance to air out. When I went to bring the washing in that afternoon, I noticed the cat was up in the back corner next to the kid's cubby. Not good. That night I gave the kids canned spaghetti on toast. I couldn't eat a thing. I was mesmerised as he ate chunk after chunk after chunk of that perfect pie, my culinary concoction. was fine. So thanks for nothing, a current affair. You never get my vote when Logie's time comes around. Introducing new Rapid Kill snail pellets. Using cutting edge technology from Germany, Rapid Kill is colourless, odourless, tasteless and it works first time every time. No more unsightly blue pellets ruining the look of your garden. That's right, just one application and your pet's problem is solved. But hurry, stocks are limited, so call the number on your screen now.